Okay. Uh, I think we're in Photoshop. Yes, there we have it. Um, this is about actions. I'll close this panel here just for the heck of it. Uh, we're going to create an action. Uh, we're going to record the, the set of steps we do to do a uh, boringly uh, repetitive task uh, so that all we have to do in the future is press this little button to play the action and it does it for us. Um, for those of us who have been in a situation where we have to oh, process a hundred plus photos for a, a book or a, 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 some kind, uh, actions are uh, just crazy beautiful things uh, in terms of time savers. For a photographer, uh, sharpening is the action we're going to record and sharpening is something you have to do over and over and over again to every photograph that you take that is worth processing. So this is definitely worth doing and we're going to record three of them, uh, each for a different type of image. And We're going to start off with one we're going to call sharpen medium. So we're going to go over here to the actions panel and that's it right there. And if you don't have it uh, already Go to the Windows window menu up here and click on Actions and it will show up. Okay, so I'm going to click here. I'm going to go down to the bottom and I already have a set called Nick's Set and I just click on the folder and it makes a new set. And I, you can see that it's highlighted a little bit so I'm going to add an action to that set. Click here and get this name action is sharpen medium and set we'll put it in nix set and function key none you can add these if you want um, I don't um, there's would be a keyboard shortcut that you could add um, to go to actions. I don't do this often enough and I would forget the keyboard shortcut so I don't bother. Anyway, record. Alright, now we are now recording and we can see that we're recording down here. If I quit pressing the wrong button there and this little red dot tells us that we're recording. And I'll turn off that little feature again. And first thing I want to do is filter Sharpen, it's here somewhere, there it is. Unsharp mask. Most of these sharpen filters nobody uses, and for some strange reason, the only one that everybody uses is called unsharp mask. Uh, we can zoom in. Uh, you can see more of the effect if you are zoomed in on a detail. But I want you to set the following settings. We're going to turn this up to about 85. If I can't hit 85 exactly right on the money, it's not really important. And threshold, we're going to change to 4. And this is going to expand our sharpening out uh, quite a little bit. Sharpening, well, a lot of it. Um, and click OK. Now, before we do that, we need to add this all-important step, Edit, Fade, Unsharp Mask. And you will get this little dialog box, and we're going to change that to Luminosity, which is at the very bottom down here. And what we've done here is, uh, oh, it's documented if you dig in deep enough. Um, we're working on the black and white or the luminosity channel uh, exclusively because uh, sharpening can produce some kind of strange effects with color and so beginners who don't know about the about this uh, tend to not use it at all but we're going to do this fade unsharp mask apply it only to the luminosity channel click OK and now we're going to stop and we're done. We have our sharpen medium action down here 
and we're going to do another one create a new action we're going to call this sharpen high and it's going to next set record and go up here to filter sharpen and sharp mask and this one we're going to bump up to about 120 and leave the radius at 1 and we're going to change the threshold to three levels so this is going to sharpen everything up nice and tight and click OK don't forget to come up here to edit fade and sharp mask and these controls on this aren't sticky meaning the last setting you used isn't there so you have to reset it I'll go down to luminosity practically all of the other Adobe controls are sticky and for some reason this one isn't but maybe a future upgrade will get it click OK and we're going to stop this and you can see that I've got sharp and high one more sharp and low next set record and filter sharpen and sharp mask and here we're going to set this down to a hundred if I can, yeah there we go leave the radius at one but we're going to change the threshold to 10 which is going to spread the sharpening out um, this is the least amount of sharpening although it looks like it sharpening some things um, I usually use medium I'm going to just go ahead and do this while I talk to you fade and sharp mask on um, photos that have people in them and something like this I would go sharpen high because it doesn't have people in it uh, landscapes particularly stuff with cars and things will stop that and there is sharp and low and the sharp and low is for kind of soft focus uh, softer kinds of images uh, that you don't want to apply a lot of sharpening to um, and that's that's that um, do this um, learn you know get comfortable making actions and uh, definitely use them a lot they will save you lots of time on really boring stuff